Sam's parents are out of town. Caravelli? Yeah. You want to go? Freak yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go then. Hey, um, why don't you come to Chick-fil-A with Brittany, us? Brittany, I already have plans. <laughs> no, seriously, come on. I... Nobody, nobody will care. Come on, do you really, do you really trust yourself without parents here? I'm not gonna like, do it. really, Jake? Please, 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 please. All right, let me jump. Okay, sounds good. Bye. <laughs> Definitely, Alex. Are you I mean, Alex, are you, are you good to drive? <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I don't even drink. I'm fine. Hey, Mom, we're going to Chick-fil-A. Okay. Okay, all right, love you. Love you, too. Bye. 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 Nine one one, what's your emergency? Twelve oh three B twenty three. Uh, a 16 year old male, he was a restrained driver or a restrained passenger, I would say, okay. in a uh, two car MVC. Uh, the other driver of the vehicle was DOA on arrival. Oh, Let's call it at this time. And let me go speak with his family and we can get him. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Carson residence? Yes. Is your mom and dad home? Mom, dad? Daughter Brittany? Yeah. Was in a vehicle crash. Okay. No, I was just. And she died in the seat. No. Uh, medical, the EMS folks were trying to help her. And unfortunately, she died in the seat. There's no. I'm so sorry for bringing you this news. No, 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 no.
to your other hand. Read B95 one time, Lubbock County Detention Center. Clerk. You weren't clear, we have two speeding children reported. Okay, what's your full name? Alejandro Buelna. Okay, you're going to come up here. Alrighty, that is it. In. in the meantime, you're going to sit over there on that side. They will call you when they're ready for your paperwork to be processed. Uh, yeah, for now. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, you understand you were arrested for intoxicated manslaughter. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be releasing you over to the jail staff. You do exactly as they say. All right? Yes, sir. Okay. The state of Texas versus Alejandro Welna. Is the state ready to proceed? The state's present and ready. Is the defendant present and ready? We are, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Buelna, having sentenced you at this time, it is my understanding that there are a couple of victim impact statements to be read, so you can be seated. Ms. Woodward, come on up, please. You may be seated, and you may proceed when you're ready. Ms. Carson, you may proceed when you're ready. For 16 years. <laughs> the privilege and honor of being Jack's mom. Brittany and I were, were, were very close. I've had many jobs over the years, but one I treasure the most is being a mom. We were attached at the hip from the very beginning. a special bond between a mother and a son. <laughs> and I pray that bond will remain strong until I see him again in heaven. I remember a time when Bernie and I were going there and we were allowed to see my cousin for her birthday. the whole time and we, we just had a blast. And I told her that we would have to do it again with our little sister Megan. I hope you won't be able to do that. She, she was a very outgoing person. She never wanted anyone to be alone. It's almost as if it was her goal to get to know everybody in the school before she graduated. She even joined the powerlifting team before she graduated so she could get to know everybody there. That's just the kind of person she was. And the kind of person I always wanted to be. As a mother, you often wonder what your children will be like as young adults. 
Jack was one in a million. I tried to let my mind wander to the never will be's or the what ifs. It's hard to smile when I think that I'll never see his handsome face again. I will never hear the excitement in his voice when he tells me he's asked his girlfriend to marry him or that he's going to be a father. And as much as I want to be angry with you, it's creamy. I know that if Brittany were here, she would let you through it. I can't help but feel that Jack was given a death sentence and we were all given a life sentence. And so as for me and my family, we just wanted to say that we forgive you. We forgive you. Jack again in heaven. Thank you, Ms. Has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, sir. All right, let's bring the jury in. All right. Y'all may be seated. The verdict form reads as follows. We, the jury, having found the defendant is guilty of two counts of intoxicated manslaughter with a deadly weapon finding as to each count, sentence the defendant to 20 years confinement in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice on each count. Before I remand you into the custody of the Lubbock County Sheriff's Office for transfer to the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, I need to tell you a couple things. I know that you are a young man with a bright future, and that was true until April 19, 2018, when you made some decisions that you made. It's certainly capable of causing death or serious bodily injury, and in this case, you took two lives. But not only have your selfish actions taken the lives of two young people who had bright futures just like you did before you made these decisions, you have negatively impacted countless other lives. And you heard that from the two victim impact statements that we heard. And I want you to think about what you've done, and you'll have a lot of time to think about it. But for now, you're a person that once had a bright future. A suspected drunk driving crash kills two Friendship High School students and injures half a dozen others. Lubbock police say 18-year-old Alex Buelna was driving around drunk when he slammed head on into another vehicle west of the high school. The collision kills the second driver, 17-year-old Brittany Carson, outright. And 16-year-old Jack Woodward, a passenger in Buelna's car, dies at the hospital. Six other students, three in Buelna's car and three in Carson's, all get away with minor injuries. Police arrest Buelna on the scene, charging him with intoxicated manslaughter. That's a second degree felony, so he could face up to 20 years in prison and up to a $10,000 fine. No bond has been set.